Good morning all. Welcome you all to a new session of the chapter sets of 11th standard mathematics. In the previous classes we discussed about operations on sets. Which are the four operations on sets? First one union, second one intersection, third one difference, for the one complement of a set. Today, we are going to do some problems relating to operations on sets. That is, questions from 19 to 25. Let us see what is question number 19. Consider the sets S equal to B equal C and D. Four sets are given and some questions are attached. These are the questions we want to find a solution. Let us answer. Answer to question number A at first. A union B. We want to find what is A union B. What is A union B? A union B is equal to first write this set A 1, 2, 3, 4 union B. What is B? B is equal to set 3, 4, 5, 6. Then, what do we mean by A union B? The set of all elements which are either in A or in B or in both. Therefore, A union B equal to set 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay? Now, answer to question number B. C intersection D. C intersection D equal to write set C at first, then write D. What, what is the meaning of intersection? The set of all common elements. What are the common elements present in these two sets? 7 and 8. Therefore, C intersection D equals set 7, 8. Answer to question number C. D minus B. Write the set D at first, then minus B. Then what is the meaning of D minus B? Set of all elements which are in D but in not in B. Set of all elements which are in D but in not in B. 7 is in D, 7 is not in B. 8, 9, 10 are in D but they are not in B. Therefore, set 7, 8, 9, 10 minus set 3, 4, 5, 6 is equal to set 7, 8, 9, 10 itself. Clear? Now, answer to question number D. Answer to question number D. A minus B minus C. First write what is A minus B. A minus B by A minus B we mean the set of all elements in A but not in B. Very clear. The elements are 1 and 2. Therefore A minus B equals set 1, 2 minus right set C. What is the meaning of set 1, 2 minus set 5, 6, 7, 8? The elements which are in first set but not in second set. It is clear. 1, 2 are in first set. 1, 2 are not in second set. Therefore, the answer is set 1, 2 itself. Okay. Now, answer to question number E. A intersection B union D. A intersection B, right? A intersection B at first. That is set to 3, 4. Union D, right? D. Then what is the meaning of union? Write all the elements which are, in, uh, which are present in the two sets. 3, 4, 7, 8, 9, 10. And the last question, F. A union B minus C intersection D. First write A union B, then minus write C intersection D. Then what is the solution? The elements in the first set, which are not in the second set. That is the solution. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 are in the first set. They are not present in the second set. Therefore, the solution is the first set itself. Clear? Now, answer to question number 20. What is, answer to, what is the question number 20? Consider the sets. A, B, C and U. Then some questions are given. A dash, A intersection C whole dash. And the last question, A union B whole dash minus C intersection B whole dash. Let us answer to question number A at first. A dash equal to, what is the meaning of A dash? A dash means, by A dash we mean the set of all elements which are not in A but in U. Not in A but in U. Okay. A dash means the set of all elements which are not in A but in U. So, delete the element 1, 2, 3, 4 from U. Then what is the answer? Set 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 
देन आंसर क्वेश्चन नंबर बी ये इंटरसेक्शन सी होल डैश राइट ये इंटरसेक्शन सी एट फर्स्ट ये इंटरसेक्शन सी वन इज नॉट इन द इंटरसेक्शन थ्री फोर आर इन द इंटरसेक्शन देन इट्स कॉम्प्लीमेंट राइट व्हाट द एलिमेंट्स इन यू व्हिच आर नॉट इक्वल टू थ्री फोर देन द आंसर इज वन टू फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट नाइन आंसर टू क्वेश्चन नंबर सी बी माइनस सी होल्ड कॉम्प्लीमेंट राइट बी माइनस सी एट फर्स्ट दैट इज टू एच इज कॉम्प्लीमेंट देन आंसर वन थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन नाइन Answer to question number D. A minus B whole dash minus C. First write A minus B. By A minus B, we mean set of all elements in A which are not in B. That is one and uh, one and uh, three. Okay, one three whole dash minus C. Clear? Then what is one three whole dash? That is two four five six seven eight nine minus set to three four five six. Then the answer is uh, set to two seven eight nine. These elements are in first set, but uh, not in the second set. Answer to question number E. Yeah, in the section B minus C dash. Okay, set to two four minus set to three four five six whole dash. That is this one. Then the final answer is set to four. And the last question is E of E union B whole dash minus C in the section B whole dash. That is equal to. The final answer is empty set. What is the reason? Five is here, five is here also. Seven is here, seven is here also. Nine is here, nine is here also. Then first set minus second set. Set of four elements which are in A, which are in first set but not in second set. There is no such elements. Therefore, the solution, the final answer is empty set. Clear? Now let us move to question number twenty-one. Twenty-one question is very very important question. Okay. Then what is the uh, Three sets are given. The question: Verify that A union B whole dash equal. Can you say what is A union B whole dash? Yes. A dash intersection B dash. Then A intersection B whole dash. What is A intersection B whole dash? A dash union B dash. Okay. What this laws are uh, saying? What is the name of this laws? That is De Morgan's laws. Okay. De Morgan's laws. Very important law. De Morgan's law. There are two De Morgan's law. A union B whole dash is equal to A dash intersection B dash. A intersection B whole dash is equal to A dash union B dash. We want to verify these laws for the given sets. Okay. Let us answer to question number A at first. For that, first write A union B whole dash. A union B whole dash is equal to first write what is A union B two three four five six seven eight. Okay. Its complement that is equal to one nine. Delete these numbers from you. Okay, one name. This is our first equation. Then find y dash intersection b dash. Y dash is this one and b dash is this one. Write y dash elements in U not in A and then b dash elements in U not in B. Then what is the common elements? What are the common elements to both these sets? That is one nine. Okay, from one nine to the right side of one and two is same set to one nine. Therefore, the left side must be the same. Okay, that is from one and two we can uh, prove that A union B whole dash is equal to A dash intersection B dash. Clear? Now answer the question number B. A intersection B whole dash is equal to A dash union B dash. We want to verify the result. For that, first write A intersection B whole dash. A intersection B is equal set to two. The common elements to both uh, A and B is set to two. Its complement is this set. That is our first equation. And a dash union b dash, right? A dash then b dash then what is a dash one three five seven nine union? The second set is one four six eight nine. Then the union is this one that is our second set. The right side is same. Right side of equation one and equation two are same. Therefore, left left side must be the same. From one and two we can say that a intersection b whole dash equal to a dash union b dash. Okay, very very important question. Now question number twenty-two is a repeat the repetition of question number twenty-one. So do the problem yourself. After doing the problem, verify your answer with what is in the screen. Okay, like this. Answer question number A. A union B whole dash is equal to set to two three four five whole dash. This is uh, equation number one. Then second equation uh, A dash intersection B dash that is set to one six. RHS of one and two are same. Therefore, the LHS must be the same, the same as the previous question. Therefore, do yourself. Answer to question number B. Do the problem yourself and 
verify your answer with what I am writing in the screen. Okay, right hand side of a intersection B whole dash and the A dash in union B dash is same. That is set 1, 2, 4, 5, 6. Therefore, from 1 and 2, we can verify that A intersection B whole dash is equal to A dash union B dash. Okay. Now, question number 23. This is again a question from De Morgan's law, but the set is given using Venn diagram. So, observe this Venn diagram and uh, answer to the question. A union B whole dash. First, we want to write A union B whole dash. What is A union B? Set of all the elements which are in A, either in A or in B. Therefore, A union B is like this, is complement. The set of all the elements in U, which are not in A union B, that is very simple, JK. That is our first equation. Then A dash intersection B dash, right A dash, then uh, B dash, then the answer is same, JK is the common elements to both uh, these two sets. Therefore, our uh, right hand side of equation 2 is same as right hand side of equation 1 therefore from 1 and 2 we have a union b whole dash equal a dash intersection b dash and set question number b right a intersection b at first a intersection b is d it's complement the set of all elements which are uh, which are in u but not d e therefore this is the answer that is our first equation write the second equation also then you get a, B, C, F, G, H, I, J, K. That is our second equation. Right hand side of both equations are same. Therefore, A intersection B whole dash equal to A dash union B dash. Very important question. Now, question number 24. U, B, the set of all triangles in the plane. A is a set of all triangles with at least one angle difference from 60 degree. What is A dash? Okay. It is given that U, B, the set of all triangles in the plane. So, suppose this is U. U contains all triangles in the plane. Some triangles are given for example. Okay. Then the triangles can be divided into all angles are 60 degree and at least one angle different from 60 degree. If all angles of a triangle are 60 degree, very clear, its all sides are also equal. Therefore, that triangles are called equilateral triangles. If all angles of a triangle are 60 degree, then that triangles are equilateral triangle and if at least one angle different from 60 degree, that triangles are not equilateral triangle. It means that the entire set of triangles can be divided into two equilateral triangle and a non equilateral triangle. Here, A is the set of all triangles with at least one angle different from 60 degree. When at least one angle different from 60 degree, the angle, the triangle is not equilateral. From these, it is, uh, it can be easily verified that these three triangles are non equilateral. Therefore, A in A, these triangles are included. Therefore, what is A dash? A dash by A dash, we mean the set of all triangles with all angles 60 degree, that is equilateral triangle. Very, very simple. Okay. Answer to, question, uh, to the question here. A is equal to the set of all non-equilateral triangles and uh, hence A dash is equal to the set of all equilateral triangles. Clear? Now, question number 25. R be the set of all real numbers and Q be the set of all rational numbers, then what is R minus Q? Okay. What is the meaning of R minus Q? The set of all elements which are in R but not in Q. It means that the, the set of all elements which are, which are real numbers but not rational numbers. The real numbers which are not rational numbers are called irrational numbers. Therefore, the solution is the set of all irrational numbers. The set of all irrational numbers is the uh, meaning of r minus q okay now you have some assignments question number 13 we already done 12 assignments before therefore uh, question number 13 14 15 16 17 18 and 19 are the assignments do these assignments yourself and the solution of these assignments are in the back side of, back side of our textbook you can verify your answer with the textbook so, thank you for watching. Have a nice day.